What's up, guys? This is your boy Bernardo from the BTN HD, and yes, yes, I'm super excited for this unboxing slash first impressions because we have within the lab the Lenovo System X 3650 M5 server. Holy moly! Uh, so, as you know, I do a, a show every Saturday at 3 p.m. called the Server Room. I'm definitely going to be presenting this, configuring it live for you guys. So stay tuned for that. So uh, let me stop talking and get into the unboxing. All right, so what comes inside the box? Uh, before I even start that, this thing is huge and is heavy. Holy moly, almost broke my back. <laughs> so it comes with uh, left and right rails. This is very important if you are racking it inside your server room. Loving that. So let's put these guys to the side. Awesome. Uh, we have the documentation. Very important to have. Uh, more documentation, paperwork, warranty, keep that. Make sure you register Len the Lenovo server at the Lenovo site to make sure it's warrantied. Good thing. Uh, looking at the 3650 uh, M5 server, it looks like it has two uh, power adapters, which is awesome because it is great to have a server with two power adapters. Because of redundancy, because you never know one might fail and what you're going to do if you don't have a second one. So make sure when you do purchase a server, it has two power adapters, okay? So we got some heavy gauge power cords and uh, the beautiful uh, server. I am super excited. This thing is a beauty. It is a beauty. I love the fact that this guy has a nice service information on top of it. Uh, I, I, I run a Dell shop, so I normally see this inside of the casing. So to see it out here is great. I love that. Taking a closer look in the front, it looks like we have 16 bays. And you can get this guy configured between SATA and SAS, 2.5, 3.5 hard drives. This one was brought into the lab with two 2.5, 240 gig hard drives, which I'm super excited Ooh, super, super excited. I don't know what type of configuration it has as of yet, but it's most likely uh, within the server room. I'm going to wipe it clean, do the server RAID system within the Lenovo BIOS. Uh, I think it has a RAID controller. I'm not too sure about that yet. In the front, we have our power. We have our LED indicators. We have uh, one 3.0 or 2.0 USB port. Not too sure about that. In the back side, we have our VGA. Uh, it looks like we have two 3.0 USB ports in the back. Uh, we have our one gigabyte uh, Ethernet port. Does not look like it has a management. I'm so used to having a management port with like the Dells, like an iDrake. Uh, ooh, we have additional four uh, gigabit uh, Ethernet ports, which is awesome. And taking a closer look at the back, it looks like we also have eight PCIe Express uh, adapters or slots. Holy moly, that is super awesome. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so some of the things that I know so far on the System X 3650 M5 from Lenovo. Now, the clock speed is 2.6 gigahertz, running an Intel Xeon processor E52690 V4. The max turbo frequency for the base speed is 3.50 gigahertz with 14 cores. The motherboard is equipped with dual sockets. This basically means it supports up to two processors with 44 cores and 88 threads. It does have hyper-threading technology, which basically I'm going to take advantage for Hyper-V or a VMware infrastructure. You're able to configure the X3650 M5 with 28 2.5 hard drives or 14 3.5 hard drives. The max capacity storage, you can actually get it configured to 250 terabytes. And for 2.5 inch solid state drives, you can get it configured up to 7.68 terabytes. Now the System X 3650 M5 that we have in the lab is configured with 16 gigs, but you can actually get it configured up to 1.5 terabytes of memory. It supports RDIMMs or RLDIMM memory, but there's no mixing within this guy. So then make sure you either pick RDIMMs or 
LR dims. It is equipped with 8 PCI Express slots and a Serve Grade M5210 controller. You want to rack it up within your LAM room, make sure you have enough space because the X3650M5 is a 2U rack server. If you're looking into upgrading your database, cloud computing, virtualization, email server, or even configuring and getting yourself up to virtual desktop infrastructure within Windows Server, this machine is definitely the one that you should get. All right, guys, so that's the unboxing of the Lenovo System X3650 M5 Plus first impressions. Uh, my first impressions on this guy is it is a beast. It is awesome. Uh, if you are looking for a server for virtualization or VDI or uh, you're upgrading your email server or file server maybe, I think this guy is capable of handling it. Oh, man, I'm super, super excited about this guy. Uh I think the next time that you're going to see the X3650 M5 is maybe in the server room. I don't know which episode as of yet because uh, I'm still planning what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to do a little bit of virtualization, maybe create an email server for you guys. Who knows? Uh, if you have any suggestions, please leave them at the comment. What would you like me to configure this X3650 M5 with? Yeah. Linux server, Windows server. Let me know at the bottom of the comment section, right? Hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing slash first impressions of the System X 3650 M5 from Lenovo. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.